A total solar eclipse is one of the most impressive sights in our universe. As rare as they are, they don't just happen on Earth. On some planets, they occur every single day. Today, we're going to take you throughout the solar system to experience what a solar eclipse is like on different planets. From a triple solar eclipse on Jupiter to the weirdness of a Mars solar eclipse. Join us as we take you on a journey to experience every solar eclipse in our solar system. But first, what is a solar eclipse? Well, a total solar eclipse on Earth happens when our moon passes between us and the sun, blocking sunlight for several minutes. These events happen on Earth every 18 months or so, but we rarely get to see them. That's because a lot of the time, these solar eclipses happen somewhere out over the ocean. On April 8, 2024, most of North America will be able to see a total solar eclipse, so get ready. Scientists estimate the next time this will happen will be in the year 2033. But you know what a solar eclipse looks like on Earth. What does it look like on other planets? Jupiter. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has 95 moons, but that only tells part of the story. Since Jupiter has such a big gravitational pull, it's got thousands of different kinds of asteroids, celestial bodies, and space debris orbiting around it. Now, despite having 95 moons, only four of them are known to cause a total solar eclipse on the planet. Io, Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto each provides a unique solar eclipse experience. One of my favorites is Io. It's 1,800 kilometers in diameter, making it the third largest moon of Jupiter. And for reference, that's about 5% bigger than our moon. Now, NASA has captured some incredible images of what a solar eclipse looks like with Io. That shadow you see there is being cast by the sun onto the planet. Another incredibly cool aspect of this solar eclipse is that Io is the most volcanically active celestial body in the solar system. Because of all these volcanoes, you'd look up at the solar eclipse and see a sparkly ball of fire blocking out the sun. This amazing sight would last around 13 minutes. Solar eclipses found on Earth can last from a few seconds to about seven minutes. This is due to the proximity of the moon to our sun and the speed at which the moon travels. But what about a triple solar eclipse? Yeah, that's right. Now, this only happens once or twice every 10 years, but at times, Io, Callisto, and Ganymede will all line up and block out the sun, creating this incredibly cool effect. Now, watch as these planets create some mesmerizing shadows on Jupiter's surface. Mercury and Venus. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ha. Huh. Nothing's happening. Oh, right. Well, that's because Mercury and Venus don't have any moons to block out the sun. But why? Well, Mercury is moonless because of how close it is to the sun. Since it's a smaller planet, its gravity is too weak to hold on to other celestial bodies. They'd either crash into the planet or be swallowed up by the sun. Now, Venus is a bit of a different story. Billions of years ago, the planet may have had a moon, but then millions of years later, it was impacted by another massive rock hurling through space. This caused the planet to change its orbital direction, causing its moon to crash directly into the planet. Maybe one day, a big enough asteroid will swing by and create a brief solar eclipse for Venus and Mercury, but for now, they'll just have to imagine what a solar eclipse is like. Luckily, you won't have to. Let's swing over to our other planets. Mars. Welcome to Mars. The red planet has the opportunity to showcase multiple solar eclipses because it has two moons, Deimos and Phobos, but it is a bit of an issue. These solar eclipses are quite different from what we might see on Earth, and that's because they only provide a partial solar eclipse. These little guys are practically glorified asteroids. Phobos has a diameter of 22.2 kilometers, and Deimos is even smaller with a diameter of 12.6 kilometers. Now, because of their tiny size and their distance from the Sun and Mars, they can only block out parts of the Sun. 
but despite this, the sights are still incredibly mesmerizing. Now, what if we looked at the eclipse from the viewpoint of one of the moons? Well, from this epic viewpoint, you'd see Mars eclipse the moon, creating a full solar eclipse. The coolest part? Well, depending on the time of year, this could happen every day. Saturn. Now, Saturn's got dozens of moons, approximately 146 of them. Some of its moons are bigger than Mercury. Now, similar to some of the other planets, NASA has been able to capture some breathtaking imagery of eclipses happening on the planet. But now, we're going to show it to you in a way that's never been done before. Now, just like with Mars, depending on your vantage point, you could experience multiple solar eclipses a day, depending on the season and which moon you decide to camp out on. Uranus. Now, Uranus has about 28 moons. Just five or so are big enough to provide a full solar eclipse. The only problem? They're incredibly rare. Yeah, since the planet has an 84-year orbit around the Sun, a solar eclipse happens only once every 42 years. The reason for this is that Uranus is tilted on its side. The extreme tilt results in strange patterns of sunlight on the planet. Not to mention it causes Uranus's moons to float along its equator. Once every 42 years, Uranus's poles happen to line up and face the Sun. Once this happens, then the moons are able to align in a way that they can pass in front of the Sun, causing a total solar eclipse. Neptune. Out of Neptune's 14 moons, half of them are able to produce a solar eclipse. So the view from this planet must be pretty incredible, right? Eh, unfortunately, what you get here is less than stellar. Neptune is so far away from the Sun that instead of the blistering star that we know from our perspective on Earth, the Sun there is just a small little sparkle in the sky. You see all these stars while looking up at the night sky here on Earth? Well, that's what our Sun would look like on Neptune. It gets one nine hundredth of the sunlight we get back at home. Now, because of this, when a solar eclipse does happen, it's not that noticeable and it only lasts a few seconds. Pluto. Now, it's not technically a planet anymore, but we gotta give some love to the littlest guy in our solar system. Pluto has a particularly interesting solar eclipse that happens every 120 years. Pluto takes turns eclipsing the Sun with its largest moon, Charon, roughly every six and a half Earth days. Another twist? Well, since Pluto only shows half the planet to the moon, only half the planet experiences the eclipse. So there you go. This is what happens when moons and other celestial bodies cover up the Sun. Hey, have you ever thought about what would happen if the Sun suddenly produced a solar flare headed right for Earth? Well, that sounds like a story or another, what if?